okay so till now what we have done we have uh, already completed the uh, saturated ver version of bjt logic family now we are moving towards non saturated bjt logic family right so there there were two logic families inside this section it was a shortcut etl and ecl emitter coupled logic so those two we have to learn uh, but before that, uh, uh, first we will start with short key TTL. So you should be knowing the short key transistor and short key diode so that you will be able to uh, grasp short key TTL. A short key TTL is just like TTL but with short key transistor. Okay. So we are looking at short key transistor now. Here, uh, first I am showing you the short key diode. Okay. What will be the uh, <coughs> parameter we will be using in short key transistor? That is what I want to tell you here. I am not explaining the short key diode in detail or in device form because it is not required here. We will be looking at uh, from the digital perspective. Uh, that is what our motive is. So here short key diode is looks like this uh, a triangle with a S symbol attached to it. So this is P side. This is N side. Uh, it looks like uh, similar to PN junction diode. But uh, here you have a single line. <coughs> but here you have a s like structure represents short key okay what is the difference it works similar to pn junction only this is the uh, vi characteristics you can see the, uh, both the diodes this is for pn diode and this is for short key diode pn diode means normal diode what we used so here you can see the difference what i want you to focus here is the cut-in voltage here the cut-in voltage is high for the normal pn junction diode but here the cut-in voltage is low 0.3 volt means if you will apply 0.3 volt or above across this uh, short key diode <coughs> it will start conducting means current will start to flow uh, from p to n whereas if you will see here you will need at least 0.7 volt across this diode so that this diode will start conducting okay so basically you have low cut in voltage also you have uh, at the negative side if you will see uh, you have low cut in voltage uh, low breakdown voltage here minus five, 4 volt if you will apply in the reverse uh, bias uh, it will break means breakdown voltage okay breakdown voltage is also less here uh, whereas here if you will see it is minus 8 side so means like magnitude wise i was saying my uh, less so if you will see this is minus 8 volt much longer in this direction and you have minus 4 here also you have a uh, 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 here you can see you have more reverse leakage current that is around minus 30 micro ampere that is I'm just taking a, a, a random value here also I'm taking a random value just to explain that this guy is having less cut in voltage and this guy is having more leakage current uh, for example minus 30 micro ampere here you are having minus 10 micro ampere so we are not using this negative side we are only interested in this part that uh, it is it provides low cut in voltage and how we gonna use this diode to make our short key transistor and that transistor will be used in short key ttl okay okay now let's look at the short key transistor so this is the normal transistor here you can see you have seen it before so if you increase the value of ib your ic increases means the drop across resistance will increase so vcc minus drop across this r will give you vce right this so if you increase the ic uh, the drop will increase and hence you will get less vce right so as you increase the ib ib this this will happen happen and vc will it decrease 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 at some point of time it will decrease so that this um, this 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 vc voltage will become lesser than vb and in that case your uh, this CB junction will be forward bias, right? That's how saturation we achieve. For example, you can see here VBE will be uh, 0.7 volt. VBE is equal to VB, right? Why? Because uh, this guy is usually connected to ground. We have seen that. So VBE becomes equal to VB only. So this reflects the difference between these two points, B and E voltage, and VB reflects the voltage with uh, this uh, point and ground. Okay. So that is 0 0.7 some some uh, diode I am taking a uh, random number I am taking 0 0.7 volt and VC will be around let's say you calculate in this active region is 1 volt right so if you will calculate VCB that is VC minus VB is 0 0.3 volt you can see uh, VC minus VB means this is a PN junction right N is 
connected to C and P is connected to B uh, and you are calculating V C B so means it is coming positive means it is reverse bias right so this is forward this is reverse means it is in active region now if let's say your VC voltage is coming out to be uh, 0.5 volt right you have increased the IB uh, so that IC was increased the drop increase uh, hence VC becomes 0.5 volt then in this case you will calculate VC minus VB VC minus VB will come out to be minus 0.3 right sorry minus 0.2 so this will reflect uh, VCB means negative voltage it is coming means it is uh, forward bias now right because uh, uh, N is uh, connected uh, means like VCB and uh, means reverse voltage it is getting minus 0.2 volt means it is forward bias right so that's why uh, uh, it goes to saturation so this is the way we check saturation right in normal uh, transistor so that is the procedure and mostly when it reaches in saturation your IC will uh, saturate that's why we are calling it as saturation means more IV if you will put uh, IC will uh, not increase that is what happens in saturation so this is the way you are were already um, um, aware of I guess um, uh, it's sort of an analog thing so that's why I don't want to go into the detail now what we are doing here is with this transistor we are attaching our short key diode and this whole arrangement is being called as short key transistor this is how you reflect it with an s okay so this is a short key transistor what this achieves is uh, if you try to uh, uh, relate with this thing if you try to increase the ib value imagine this is not there uh, it is reverse bias uh, imagine it's an it's an open right now you are trying to increase the ib value IC is also increasing and let's say your VC is decreasing just like here as well now it will decrease 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 it will go beyond uh, lesser than VB like just like here it go uh, went now what will happen as soon as this this voltage VCE voltage will go lesser than this it will start conducting and if it will start conducting it will maintain some cut in voltage whatever 0 0.3 0 0.2 volt across B and C so you can think whatever the value of VB will be it will uh, VC will be 0 0.3 or 0 0.2 more than that and hence VC will be more than VB and it will always be reverse biased okay so that's the way uh, it keeps the transistor in active and cutoff only because this will be always in um, reverse bias mode so b can be forward bias or reverse bias so based on that if it is forward bias this transistor will be in active region and if it is reverse by this transistor will be in cutoff right now this this relation will not be followed right because because you have a branch here you can't write vcc minus uh, uh, icr rc vc right because you have a branch so what will happen if you are trying to put more and more current at some point of time extra current whatever extra excess current will come will go through this diode and come to collector and since this is maintained in active region collector current extra can come right uh, that's that's the way uh, you have to think so again i'm telling if you increase the ib ic will increase vc will decrease imagine this is open right so it will follow this strategy as soon as vc gets lower than vbe this uh, this diode will get uh, active because you can see that vc minus vb is negative uh, so this will become uh, forward biased if this will become forward biased uh, you can see uh, it will maintain the voltage 0.3 voltage more than here uh, more than vb right you can see that right uh, uh, how should i explain means vce is decreasing decreasing it went to let, let's say 0 0.5 and vb is 0 0.7 now vc minus vb is 0 0.2 you can see that this is uh, uh, or or you can say vbc is 0 0.2 volt so vc uh, vbc is 0 0.2 volt means this is becoming uh, forward wise right this diode if this diode is becoming forward bias 
this voltage if let's say 0.7 volt so this voltage will be what 0.7 plus 0.3 let's say 0.3 is its cut in voltage so 0.7 plus 0.3 this will be vc right and vb will be 0.7 so you can see it is 1 volt it is 0.7 uh, volt so if you will calculate vc minus vb it will be uh, uh, positive only that is 0.3 volt so it will maintain this junction to be in reverse bias always okay whatever the extra excess current is coming so whatever is required here it will go and excess will come from here and go to collector and it will maybe maintain that active region only so it is trying to go into saturation but this diode came into the picture and went back uh, the transistor went back to active and depending upon the uh, junction here vb <coughs> it will be for uh, cut off it will work in cut off or it will work in active region hopefully it is giving you uh, a perspective good perspective and now what is the benefit of this since the transistor is not going into saturation uh, you are not storing charge in inside base extra charge so when the transistor will switch from on to off or off to on you you don't have to take out the charges from the base okay that takes time uh, it is called storage time uh, you don't have to take the charges out because it is not going into saturation that makes the transistor short key transistor very fast because you are not uh, putting the excess charge into the base and you are not taking out which it takes time okay during the switching and it is working in active to low cutoff or cutoff to active okay and what we price we are paying you might say when the saturation when the transistor goes into the saturation we used to call output is equal to 0.2 volt right because it gets almost short but now here if this will be inactive it will have some significant voltage let's say 0.8 volt or 0.9 volt so this will be called as your logic low okay this is the price we are paying uh, to get the fast circuit okay so hopefully you are getting the point this point uh, whenever you are getting output logic low it was 0.2 volt but now since this guy is not getting into saturation now your logic low will be increased at the output 0.8 volt 0.9 volt like this so these were the points i wanted to make i don't want to go into much detail this was this will be um, enough i think for our short key ttl uh, if you want to more about uh, know more about short key transistor you can follow wikipedia uh, or you can watch other lectures of short key diodes as well if you want to go into the device details but it is not required i think uh, with this you will be able to understand so just imagine this guy is going into active or cut off only okay and you are getting uh, uh, accordingly voltages across or current across it that's all you have to know